Hey fam, thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, I don't have a little clippy thing right now. I don't know where it is, but I am holding my phone for now. And I wanted to start off with the Bible verse before I share with you the miracles that God has been doing in my life. So we're going to read Proverbs 3. Can you even see that? five to six trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding for in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight i really hope that's not backwards but if it is backwards um, i am still getting used to this <laughs> if it was backwards Look up Proverbs 3, 5 to 6, okay? Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight, okay? So that's the Bible verse for today. Um, I have moved to the East Coast. I drove all across Canada in a day. I think it took like, what is it, 18 hours. I stopped along the way and stuff like that. I have little clips here and there um, of my road trip with my 16 year old dog who was crying because he hurt his arm, um, but he's better now, thank God. Um, so I will show you um, little, you know, little things that I packed, okay priorities my books and DVDs and tapes uh, if you even know what that is I'll show you in another video um, but I wanted to show you how good God is so when I was moving I gave away all my furniture because I knew like I didn't want to lug it around and move it around and I didn't know where I was actually gonna live and where God was calling me to um, this will be literally my uh, story <laughs> to you as you follow my journey on how I ended up here and um, my parents selling their house that I grew up in um, for like 27 years, right? Um, basically my whole life. Um, so I gave away all my furniture for free and to my friends, and I knew that they needed furniture and stuff like that, but God was like, don't worry, okay? So back then, uh, when I had all my furniture, most of my furniture was all white, like kind of like modern-ish looking. Um, but I said, when I move to the East, I want like new kind of furniture, like I want kind of like a different kind of style, okay? So I only brought what I could fit in my car. So think of like a car, it's kind of like, it's smaller than an SUV, um, bigger than a small car, but I just jam packed the car with whatever I could bring and that's all I had. That's all I own, that I own nothing else and that's my life, okay? I was trying to be minimalistic, but the car was jam packed full, okay? Anyways, there was no furniture, I couldn't fit any furniture. So when I got here, I literally got here uh, about a week and a half ago. It's been busy because my mom came and then my friend came and then now I just had time to kind of settle in a little bit. And I was like, I need a place to put my stuff, like my books especially, okay? And um, here's a clip um, of my books. I'm starting to pack my car now and I have like four boxes of books and I want to bring them all because I love books. Aboriginal Health in Canada, that's kind of cool because in the East Coast, I think there's a lot of Aboriginal people. I can't wait to meet them. Definitely Crazy Love, one of my favorite books, Francis Chan. I really recommend that book this five love languages this is so good in um what's it called love relationships i'll keep you guys updated he'll hear some more <laughs> so i literally crack myself up 
now I'm at my, who even has these anymore? Well, I do, my favorite, Lion King, as clearly I love Mulan. What is this? Titanic VHS, Titanic DVD. <laughs> Sound of Music DVD, Sound of Music VHS, Toy Story. Uh, you can see my life right here. <laughs> that defines me. This is coming to the East Coast priorities, you know? Okay, so that was my books and my priorities of tapes and um, DVDs or whatever. So that needed to come. So now I need to find a place to put it, right? So I go on uh, basically like Marketplace and like Kijiji and stuff like that. And I found these pieces that are exactly what I've been looking for, for like five bucks. 10 bucks, okay? So I'm gonna show you how amazing these things are, okay? So this is where I do my Bible readings. Can you see this little thing here? Okay, so I'm trying to go for like the vintage look, okay? So this is 10 bucks, okay? You can even find that at like Marshalls or whatever, or Winners or something like that for like, I'm even like 30 or 40, okay? It's in like brand new mint condition. So this is where I do my reading, my journaling, and now you know where I read my Bible, okay? And then, so then I got this one is kind of like a rustic look, okay? This woody one here. Guess how much? Five bucks, okay, five, five, five bucks look at how cute and I can put books on here it's kind of like so I'm kind of going for like half a vintage look and half a rustic look okay so this is part of the vintage look you see this oh, mirror it's like kind of like a giant mirror or whatever ten bucks Okay, you find this at like, I don't know, Winners or Marshalls, like at least like 50 bucks, okay? Like this is all within like a week. I'm like, God is so good. He knows my exact taste of everything, okay? Finally, like I got a few other things, but I can't show you every single thing because he's just so amazing and like knows exactly what we need and when we need it. And like, I just have so many other stories of miracles, but this is like the biggest one, okay? So you saw all the books that I had. That was just like a few, okay, of what I jam packed in my car and like I needed. I'll show you when I stock, stock my books um, up, but I finally got a bookcase. And I've been looking specifically, I am super specific. I wanted solid wood and kind of like the woody cabiny look. Um, on the east, there is a lot of woody stuff, but you know, they're pretty expensive. Um, so I'm like, God, like, I really need a bookcase. Like, I got a mirror, this thing, vintagey. I got this thing, vintagey. I got that thing, I could put a few uh, books on or whatever but I was like I need like a solid strong bookcase woody cabiny look um, okay let me tell you what he literally gave me look at this beautiful bookcase solid wood Solid. Look at this. Like, this is exactly the look I was going for. And, like, even this side. Like, um, like this. Look at that. Yes. Amazing, right? So, you'll see my books on here. Guess how much I got that for? For free! Okay? Free! I was, like, online and I was, like looking for bookcases and like there's so many bookcases for like 20 30 40 even a hundred dollars but none of them like i would be willing to even pay like something for this okay 
because this is exactly what I was looking for. Free, okay? And so I messaged the lady and I'm like, hey, like, is this still available? This is like exactly the bookcase. Like I'm looking for like wood, this look, everything sturdy. She's like, sure, I'll save it for you. Um, come on over. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm coming right over. And I was like, where's your location? Two and a half minutes away from me, okay? How is that even possible? It could have been anywhere in the city or whatever. Two and a half minutes away. So I go over and I'm like, thank you so much. Like, I literally need a place to put all my books. And, um, and she tells me to come on in or whatever. All over her walls, Bible verses. Blessed stickers blessed and Bible verses and everything. And I'm just like, really, really, you know? So my prayer to you is don't give up. Jesus loves you. Keep praying. He knows exactly what you want to the T, to the second, to the minute that you need it. And he will provide free. Okay. Jesus loves you till next time. Bye.